9.36 a.m. Oh, guys, I'm so excited. We are going to be flying the Boeing 767 today. I stayed up all night reading all about it, and I think I know what I'm doing. So uh, it is time for us to get to the airport. Come on, let's get downstairs. We're going to jump in our car and uh, head out. Bye, Mom. Don't you want your breakfast? Oh, uh, yeah, why not? Uh, what are we having? Cake, cookies, uh, muffins? <laughs> what the hell? You know what, Mom? Uh, I'd rather eat garbage. I'll just eat on the plane. Let's go, guys. Oh, and check out the car I got. I mean, I didn't buy it or anything, and uh, no, I didn't steal it either. It's a rental, and I can't wait to actually drive it. But uh, you know what? First, I think we're gonna have to move my mom's car because she parked right behind me. Let's just get this piece of junk out of the way. Oh, yeah, here we go. All right, let's take this baby for a spin. Oh, what the hell was that? Oh, oh no! Uh, let's go pick up my co-pilot, Walter. Uh, he lives not too far from here. And then him and I are going to get right to the airport. Uh, this is his house. Walter! Come on! Let's go! Where the heck is he? Walter! Walter! Shut up! Uh, okay, uh, this is weird, guys. I don't see him in there. Uh, he might have left already. Okay, whatever. Uh, you know what? Let's go. Let's get over to the airport. Uh, hopefully, Walter is already there. And with this car, we are going to be there in no time. Woo! Twelve seconds later. Uh, you know what? Uh, where's the bus stop? Two hours later. All right, guys, we made it finally. Hello, uh, I'm the pilot in command today. Uh, I'm gonna be flying the 767. Yeah, it just left. Wait, what? Oh, what do you mean it just left? No! Oh my God, guys, look, Air Canada. That's our plane. That's Walter. Looks like he's just getting on the runway. No, Walter. Sensor. Uh, well, that's not good. Uh, can we still fly it? Yeah, as long as you can manually calculate the amount of fuel you need. Oh, I can do that. I'm smart. Uh, what the heck? Are you kidding me? Now I gotta do a math exam in order to fly this thing? You know what, guys? Come on, let's go. I know someone who can help us with our little math problem. You see, when I was back in school, I had this math teacher, Mrs. Pooperton. Oh, I hated her, but she was really good at math. If we can find Mrs. Pooperton, uh, she'll be able to help us calculate how much fuel we need for our flight. Uh, excuse me, little girl, uh, do you know where I can find Mrs. Pooperton? Get away from me, you creepy grandpa! You know what? Uh, let's just go talk to the prince. Excuse me, I'm looking for Mrs. Pooperton. Does she still teach math here? She is dead! Wait, what? Oh! Well, uh, that's just great. I still need her help, though, so... A few minutes later... Hey, uh, Mrs. Pooperton, it's me, Anton. Uh, do you remember me? I need your help with a math question. Well, great. Now what are we gonna do? I don't know. If you guys can figure this out, uh, let me know in the comments. But uh, I was just gonna say forget it. Uh, we'll get a fuel tanker, put some fuel in there, and it'll be good enough. Now, uh, where's our fuel tanker around here? Oh, guys, uh, look at this. Looks like there's a fuel tanker hooked up to this plane right here. Uh, maybe we can uh, borrow it. <laughs> I got rid of him last time. Flashback. Bye bye, Jones! <laughs> okay, fine, Jones. Uh, you win this time around. But you know what, guys? I got an idea. And all we gotta do is just wait for Jones to depart. 11 minutes later. Look, uh, there he goes. Uh, he's getting pushed back. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's get the empty tanker. We gotta make this quick. We're not gonna have much time. First, we get it into position under the wing. Then we gotta get on top. And now, I'm just gonna do this. Oh. Yes, there we go. Now 
let's get the stain car opened up, and we gotta follow Jones' blade. Come on, come on, come on, before he loses all the fuel. Oh, yes, here we go. This is perfect. Yeah. <laughs> and Jones thought he could have all the fuel. I don't think so, Jones. Okay, guys, uh, this is good. Uh, I think we got enough. Uh, let's get the heck out of here. Bye, Jones. Have a good flight. <laughs> here for our flight so uh, let's get our plane fueled up and get the heck out of here a few moments later air canada 341 uh we're ready for pushback all right guys off we go uh walter you can start the takeoff checklist in the meantime i am going to get this plane over to the runway wait a second guys it's jones you know what i think we can cut him off right here tower air canada 341 requesting priority takeoff clearance position on the runway. Takeoff checklist is complete. We're ready to go. Okay, let's do this. Takeoff power is set and we are rolling. Hopefully we have enough runway to take off. V1, rotate. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, that was close. But we got positive rate. Uh, gear up. All right, Air Canada 341 is airborne and climbing to our flight altitude. We're gonna be going through some clouds, guys, but uh, these are light, fluffy, non-scary clouds. Uh, so we should be all right. I'm not to worry about it. 15 minutes later. All right, everything is looking good, guys. The aircraft is performing well. What the heck is that? Uh, Walter, uh, what is that alarm? Oh, looks like the fuel pump might have failed on the left engine. Oh, yeah, look, it's shutting down. Uh, well, that can't be good. Okay, I'm just gonna turn the alarm off. Uh, we still got the right engine working, so uh, we should be able to come back to Los Anos. Uh, let's start our turn and uh, prepare for a uh, one engine landing. Santa Andreas Center, Air Canada 341, pan, pan, pan. We have one engine up. Whoa, what the? Wait, Walter, again? What's going on here? The fuel pump has failed on the right engine. Wait, what? Uh, both of our engines are out? Uh, how is that even possible? Well, I think we ran out of fuel. Are you kidding me? I think our plane just turned into a glider. I don't think we're gonna make it back to Los Santos. No, I don't think so either. Uh, we're definitely losing altitude. I'm gonna try to point our nose up so uh, we can stay gliding longer. Walter, uh, what's our alternate? Uh, where else can we land? Oh, maybe at the Santa Shores airfield? Yeah, it should be right over there. Uh, I'm gonna start turning that way. Oh, I just hope we make it. Watch your bank angle. You're gonna stall. I know, I know, but we're still losing altitude, guys. Look, I got the airfield in sight. Uh, let's just try to keep it up in the air for as long as we can. I'm gonna bring our gear down. Okay, this is looking good. I think we're gonna make it. Oh, wait a minute. Are there people on the runway? Oh my god, uh, they can't hear us coming because our engines are not working. Uh, we gotta get their attention somehow. Is there anything in here that I can do? Well, that didn't work. Uh, I'm gonna try to land right behind them. Uh, we have enough runway to stop. Here we go! Hang on, guys! Oh, our landing gear collapsed! Oh, stop, stop, stop! <laughs> guys, we made it! We're alive, Walter, we're alive! Wow, look at this. I cannot believe that we actually were able to glide this huge plane down here onto the airfield. Because let me tell you, uh, this could have ended up a lot worse. Meanwhile... Wait a minute, what the heck? Did we just run out of fuel? <laughs> Thanks for watching this video now. Smash that like button. Check out some more videos right here on my channel. And I will see you on the next one. Bye!